Are mermaids real? Where do mermaids live? What do they eat? Where do mermaids sleep? I'm Donna. Thank you for being here for the latest video, Mermaid Tales. I was walking along the beach and caught a glimpse of something under the water. It made me wonder, are mermaids real or are they fantasy? Let's dive deeper. Our fascination with these mythical sea-dwelling creatures dates back for thousands of years and spans cultures across the world, from coastal settlements in Ireland to landlocked Zimbabwe and Africa. Mermaids are often depicted as having the head and body of a woman with a fish tail below the waist instead of legs and have a siren-like voice. According to folklore, mermaids can live up to 300 years and will turn to foam on the surface of the water once they have died. In most cultures, mermaids are believed to be beautiful, but are also imagined as dangerous creatures who lure sailors to their deaths with their trance-like singing. Mermaids are often blamed for perilous water events, such as floods, storms, drownings, and shipwrecks. Some folklore tells of them being benevolent souls who bestow favors to humans and are even known to fall in love with them. The belief in mermaids may have arisen at the very dawn of our species. Mystical female figures first appear in cave paintings in the late Paleolithic period some 30,000 years ago. There are many accounts of mermaids in cultures and folklore from around the world and throughout time. One of the most famous accounts of mermaids can be found in ancient Greek mythology. In Homer's Odyssey, Odysseus encounters a beautiful woman on his journey home from Troy. The creatures in the Odyssey were called sirens alluring creatures who sang beautiful songs to sailors passing by that drove the men insane, driving them to their deaths by drowning. Christopher Columbus claimed to have seen mermaids during his exploration of the Caribbean Sea. Mermaids appear in British folklore as unlucky omens, both foretelling disaster and provoking it. In Korea, a peninsula located in the easternmost part of Asia, mysterious stories about mermaids are told. One tale speaks of a mermaid named Sinji who warns fishermen of impending storms by singing and throwing rocks into the sea. Some coastal villagers believe she is a sea goddess and that she predicts the weather. In some parts of Eastern Europe, mermaids are believed to be the restless spirits of the unclean dead. They appear as the ghosts of young women who died a violent or untimely death before their wedding, either by murder or suicide, usually by drowning. In the ancient Far East, mermaids were thought to be the wives of powerful sea dragons and served as trusted messengers between their spouses and the emperors on land. No mermaid tale would be complete without mentioning P.T. Barnum's Fiji Mermaid. P.T. Barnum was an American showman, businessman, and politician, mostly well known for founding the Barnum and Bailey Circus. He claimed to have a stuffed body of a mermaid he bought from an American captain named Samuel Adisa, who salvaged the item from a sinking Dutch merchant ship. Barnum's admirable marketing skills created great hype over his New York City exhibition in 1872 and was a great success. However, the stuffed mermaid has since been debunked as a hoax. Over time, mermaids have been depicted in opera's art, paintings, books, comics, animation, and live action films. One of the most popular mermaid stories is The Little Mermaid, a literary fairy tale written by the Danish author Hans Christian Andersen. The story was first published in 1837 as part of a collection of fairy tales for children. The tale follows the journey of a young mermaid willing to give up her life in the sea in exchange for a human soul. The Little Mermaid movie was released in 1989 and is an American animated musical fantasy film produced by Walt Disney and was inspired by Anderson's fairy tale. Although evidence for mermaids is not conclusive, it is compelling. Stories of people who have seen mermaids continue to the present day. On August 2009, along the Mediterranean coast of northern Israel, dozens of people reported seeing a mermaid leaping out of Haifa Bay. It caused such a stir a local Israeli coastal town offered a $1 million reward for proof of their existence. In February 2012, work on two reservoirs in Zimbabwe stopped. 
Workers refused to continue, claiming mermaids had chased them away from the sites. This incident was reported by the Water Resources Minister. In their culture, some believe mermaids are to blame for unexpected misfortunes, such as bad weather or the sudden disappearance of people. So, we've established legends of mermaids have been around for thousands of years. But are mermaids real? The U.S. government's official stance is no evidence of aquatic humanoids has ever been found. Oftentimes, manatees are thought to be mistaken for mermaids. But I had to find out for myself, so I set off on a search to uncover the truth about mermaids and headed to the beach, not only to search for evidence of mermaids, but to get some much-needed vitamin C. <laughs> I combed the shoreline looking for anything that might indicate the presence of mermaids. I didn't find anything other than this friendly man. Hey, Hi. so what are you doing? Um, I'm picking up trash, but at the same time I'm picking up treasures for myself. I collect fossils and interesting rocks. I'm getting a lot of old coral, um, agatized coral, which is coral which has been replaced by uh, quartz minerals. Um, finding a lot of sea glass that isn't sea glass yet. It's just broken glass, so that's trash. Uh, but mostly just having fun, looking to see what's here. Do you have any you want to show us? This is a piece of several million year old coral that has been agatized. You can see on the ends where it's been replaced by quartz. And it makes nice jewelry or even just display pieces is what I use it for. So do you have any evidence of mermaids in there? No evidence of mermaids at all. <laughs> Bummer. He didn't find anything either, so I kept on with my search. This time I went by boat with the idea of going farther into the ocean so I might come across a mermaid or even just glimpse one. I searched the high seas and all I saw was this pod of dolphins. Although not mermaids, I still felt lucky and blessed to see these beautiful sea creatures. Next, I anchored on a deserted island and again combed the shoreline searching for evidence of mermaids. I found no evidence of mermaids, but I did get to see those amazing dolphins again. It had been a long day and the sun was setting, so I jumped in the boat and decided to head on home. The next day, not wanting to leave any shell unturned, I went kayaking. I thought maybe the noise from the speedboat's engine scared away any mermaids who could be swimming nearby and hoped the quiet paddling of the kayaks would entice a visit by a friendly mermaid. I paddled through the mangroves and into a beautiful nearby spring. As you can see, the water is absolutely beautiful. I saw fish and I even paddled over to a cove where I saw manatees. Although beautiful aquatic creatures, unfortunately still not mermaids. Determined in my quest for the truth, the next day I decided to get a different perspective of the sea and rented a helicopter. Looking down over the expansive view of the ocean, I thought just maybe I would see a mermaid swimming in the water. I saw sharks, stingrays, more manatees and dolphins, but no mermaids. The pilot, sympathetic to my quest, offered to take me to an uncharted, mysterious island. The coordinates had been handed down by word of mouth through his father and were top secret. There, he said the locals would openly talk of the beautiful and benevolent women of the sea. It's a place where folklore of the majestic creatures is passed down through generations. I followed the pilot's instructions and headed inland to chat with the secretive islanders, hoping they would open up to me. Along the way, I saw a sign and knew I was getting closer to the truth. I found the locals' meeting hut and went inside. Oh, I let out a sigh of relief when they immediately opened up to me. I learned there were steps that needed to be taken in order to attract a mermaid. I promised I would share with them any evidence I found and jumped into the helicopter and rushed home. The islanders had told me mermaids like shiny trinkets, seashells, and jewelry. 
so I quickly collected the items from around my house and headed back to the beach. I set up the alluring items on rocks by the water, then blew from the closest shell I had to a conch shell, which is the mermaid's preferred sound. Then I wished upon a starfish my music would attract a mermaid, and waited. <gasps> Did you see that? To my great surprise and delight, several mermaids appeared to me. They were too shy to be filmed, and I was surprised mermaids have their own language. Luckily, based on what I learned from the locals on the island, I can interpret their responses. They graciously allowed me to ask them some questions. How are you today? <laughs> Are mermaids real? I always wondered, how are mermaids born? Where do mermaids live? Why do mermaids choose to live in salt water? What do mermaids eat? How do mermaids clean their beautiful tails? What do mermaids use for money? Do you have a pet? Where do mermaids sleep? I was thrilled she took a shine to me and showed me her and her friends amazing bedrooms. I would love to have one of these. But not only that, she also told me of a nearby place where mermaids mingle and put on shows for us humans called Wikiwachi Springs State Park. I gave the mermaids their gifts and rushed straight to the springs. Let's take a look at what I found. Fins down, the springs were amazing. Mermaids were friendly and spoke freely with the visiting humans. They also invited me to their show. It was amazing. I wish you could hear the music, but unfortunately, it's copyrighted and YouTube won't let me play it. Look at how graceful and beautiful they are. Without audio, it just doesn't do the show justice. So I added my own. The day went swimmingly. As I headed home, I realized I had fallen for the mermaid life hook, line, and sinker. I decorated my house with mermaid designs everywhere I could, and I even became an honorary mermaid in the Dunedin Mardi Gras parade. Here's me and some of my new mermaid friends. Let's take a look at how the night went. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching Mermaid Tales. Are mermaids real or are they fantasy? Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. If you want to see other fantasy creatures or special content, drop me a line by commenting below. You can also go to www.yourfantasyportal.com and sign up for special content, news, and discounts. I'll put the link below.
as always i appreciate you thank you for watching your fantasy portal the place where fantasy and fun come to life